Today I'm attempting every level of gymnastics with a USA Gymnastics national team member and you're probably wondering why. Because four years ago, Caleb and I competed in an extreme gymnastics competition and he beat me. So to redeem myself, I flew all the way to Maryland to battle him and find out who's the best gymnast once and for all. Each level, the skills will get harder and harder. Whoever wins this back handspring race will decide who goes first for level one. Go! We started neck to neck, but then he started gaining speed. Bro, I might have won, I might have won. I couldn't even see the line. Each level, whoever executes the skill better will win 10 points. First person to 50 points wins, and the loser will face a hilarious consequence. Level one, double back. Since I clearly won, I'm gonna let the old man right here go first. Well, the old people did discover the ways, and he watched my videos and probably learned how to do a double back, so let's go. I already lost the back handspring race, but good thing that doesn't count towards our score, so I'm going to have to try extremely hard on this first level. This is something slight. I was acting confident, but deep down, I was nervous. I mean, honestly, that didn't take much effort at all. You know, that was calm and all, but you know, I did that standing, so this is gonna be light. I mean, you know, I can do a standing double back too. He did do a standing double back, so when he was 14 the last time I saw him, which is extremely impressive. So I feel like level one for him is like level zero. For him, this is a warm up. Caleb soared into the air. Why'd you open up so early? Did you get scared? The first point goes to the shark. Hey, what? Yo, are you serious? Like, that was awesome. I don't know how you're gonna beat me today, bro. That's cool, you know. That's his girlfriend, so don't worry. We got more rounds to go. I've been preparing for the past four years for this moment. Team Shark for the win. So I used to watch his videos when I was younger, but now that I'm better, he watches mine. What'd you say? What you talking about? Level two, stick a double full. Oh, this is literally like my thing, bro. You don't stick anything. All right, since you were down on me, watch and learn. Caleb was so confident, he decided to go first for this level. Oh my gosh! Bro, your feet literally stuck to the floor. Can you move right now? Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you a little bit of props for that. If I stick a double full two, it'll come down to who had better technique. So I gotta make sure to point my toes. <sighs> Caleb, 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 Caleb. Come here, come here. I know you're a superstar and all, but before you were a superstar, I was a superstar. Mm. All right, mm. so I'm gonna show you the superstar proper technique. I have high expectations. I have a higher double fool than you. Step aside, brother. I ain't running or nothing. My heart was thumping and my feet were sweating. I was extremely nervous because Caleb just stuck that perfectly. No! Ah! Oh, my feet were so close. Bro, are you kidding me? Not a sore loser, but... Can I go again? A fast, come on. There are no retries. Level three, highest backflip onto the mat. All right, level one complete. You're next. All right, let's do it. Boom. This is gonna be so easy. Level one is only one foot tall. Ugh. Each level, the backs will stack higher and higher, making it more difficult to flip up onto them. Height increased about 30%, and there's about a 30% bigger chance of him not winning. And I'll go first. Watch out. Caleb is clearly a really talented tumbler, so I'm going to have to try my best today to win. However, I'm going to have to hope the wind blows in a direction that makes him fall or something, because he's really good. It still exists! Let's go. The screech gave me good luck. That looked like I barely made it, but I actually really made it. He barely made that. Watch this. Caleb is famous in gymnastics for how high his tumbling is. Okay, okay. I will say that did look a little smooth, a little smooth. Let's make level three a little bit taller. Oh, all right, this thing just got significantly taller, which means we gotta go first. All right, watch and learn. Yep, okay. The first few levels were pretty easy, but after we got to level three, things started to pick up. I'm actually making Caleb go first right now because I'm really nervous for this third level. It's getting a lot taller, but hey, if he can make it, I know I can do it. Caleb confidently ran for it with a lot of power. Lightweight, lightweight. It's not even all that yet. Win on him. Now it was my turn. I could not let him show me up. I barely made that. And I wobbled when I landed. We need to make this significantly higher because one of us needs to lose. You're down to basically double the height. I'm down. Who do you think is going to win this round? This is getting pretty tall. Not him. Not him. I'd say it's not that tall, but we're both pretty short guys. So I don't know, man. That's about as tall as me. Yeah. Good luck. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Ah! Oh! Caleb just stomped that. He hasn't stepped like one time in this video. It was shaking though. It doesn't matter. 
You're next. Is that a pun? It doesn't matter. I, 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 enough talking, enough talking. It's time to do all the flipping. <laughs> oh, I made it. I'm holding the mic, but I made it. I stuck it up on the top. I told y'all this thing had no height on it yet. My gosh! Caleb just stuck another flip onto the mat. I need to step it up. I'm definitely gonna do that better than you. I just have to make it on this to go to another level with you. And I haven't even made it on this. I'm a little nervous, but let's go, Shark. <laughs> oh, my knee hit! No! No, bro, it was a knee. I almost, I like essentially got it. We should count that. It's just, you, it counts when you land on one knee. And one foot. I think I took that one off. He started off strong and won the first challenge, but he's come back and won the past two, so I'm getting pretty nervous about winning this thing. I gotta get my head back in the game. About four years ago, I landed my first few standing double backs. Me and Jack met up and we battled. Four years later, you know, I've been working hard, waiting for the day to come back, and here we are. After the battle, my social media following slowly grew, so that motivated me to keep going hard in the gym so I could keep increasing my following, so here we are. Go follow him, but he's not gonna win this challenge, but you can go follow him. I'm gonna win. Next level, most flips in a row wins. Oh, bro, you know this is my thing. It is, but it might not be today. Caleb started his combo with some difficult skills, which makes it harder for him to do as many flips. I'm not sure why he chose this strategy, but it's gonna make it easier for me to win. 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah! Dude, you literally tried too many combinations. You could have just stuck to whips. You know, he's so talented, he was just trying to show you a little bit, but it actually backfired because now I could pick the simplest trick that counts as a flip and do as many of them. You know, that wasn't the smartest strategy going into that, but you know, he's old, he might not get past 12. I can't let him show off without me showing off a little bit, so of course I had to start out my combo with a little fancy skill as well. And now we just keep going all the way. I was starting to get really dizzy. Still beat him. Still beat him. This is just a cool ending. We crushed his score. Oh! Next round, flip into the box. First trick, back top. I've done the box challenge a lot, so I'll go first. Take some notes. All right. Easily. This is like my second specialty. This is going to be easy. The first skill was extremely easy, so obviously we stuck that. Next trick, a cork. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go first for that one. You know you gotta start in the box too. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, now you don't know if you can do it. Yeah, we gonna see. This, this is gonna be interesting. Ah, make this sure is... your heels aren't coming off the line. <laughs> this one's gonna be interesting. We gotta watch close. I'm really good at corks, so if he steps out of the box, I think I may win this. Yeah! What? Hey, I mean, that was good, but if I do the same thing, then I don't win either. So that puts the pressure on me. I have to make this. Ah! Yes! What's up? What's up? I mean, A, you did beat me like four years ago, but we're in the future. And I've been practicing for four years straight for this moment. How does it feel to be down? Next round, double double off the trampoline. From in and out? No. This is one of the hardest moves in power tumbling, and Caleb is one of the best in the world. And he practices this every single day. For some reason, Caleb didn't seem as confident in this skill as all the other ones. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. I gotta give you that. That was clean. That was clean. I'm winning by a point. Hopefully after this, I could be winning by two, but I doubt it. I haven't seen him do this trick in like four years. I'm doubting him. You know, I actually tweaked my knee the round before this, which is a slight setback, but I'm still gonna go for it. I started by getting the biggest bounce I could because I was going to need all the momentum for this combo as I could get. Ah! Bro, I got so freaking close! Bro, bro, plus I put all my weight in my left leg to go off of it. Right knee was a little tweaked. I still went for it, but still went for it. Clearly I needed the crash pad. The levels are getting harder and harder, and these skills are getting close to impossible. There's only a few people in the world that can do skills this difficult. Next round, two double flips in a row. Why are you grabbing your head like that? Are you scared? Trampoline's my weakness, man. Well, you know what? Trampoline's my strength because all that Chick-fil-A comes back to help. 
about extra bounce. Rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! You or me? You can go first. Me? All right, he wants me to go first. Probably so he can take notes. This should be easy. Just to show you how easy it was. You might get one out of me. I don't know about two. All right, let's see, let's see. I don't know about two doubles, though. out with your chest down so I mean that was only one double flip yeah I don't know what happened it's not my day for trampoline I don't know I mean it was clean I just gotta say like it was nice but not nice enough Caleb has obviously progressed a lot over the past four years and he's even better today than he's ever been making this challenge twice as hard for me as it was the last time we battled Next round best Past. So he obviously can do more difficult skills, but I do have some style to my tumbling, so hopefully I will win off of creativity. All right, so the goal here basically is just gonna be able to land it, because I know whatever I do, he's not gonna do it. I had to come up with a strategy to beat Caleb. His skills obviously have higher difficulty than mine, but I think I may be able to win with creativity this round. I try to put a couple different tumbling skills in the same pass. Hopefully that combination was creative enough. You're gonna have to do something pretty difficult to beat my creativity. Say less. After slaying my pass, Caleb lined up in the corner for his. As I waited back nervously to watch what he was gonna do, I knew I had given it my all, so now it's all down to luck. Bro, that was stop. Too easy. Too easy? That was a warm-up? Honestly, I do not know how you tumbled out of that double Arabian, but you know, see what the judge thinks. That one was not even close. The point goes to Caleb. Oh, I mean, honestly, I can't be that shocked because that was pretty good, bro. Do gotta give you that. But now that we're tied up, I'm about to try my hardest. I've been going easy on you the whole time. I don't, I've been letting you win though. <laughs> The skills are getting harder and harder. Only a few people in the world can do this trick. Level nine, you have to do a triple double. What? Yo, if you don't know what that is, that is two flips and three spins. Level nine is one of the hardest moves in the entire world. You have to do two flips while spinning three times. Caleb went first and obviously crushed that skill. Oh my gosh! Yo, that was so clean. <laughs> I practice it every day, so I gotta be able to do it, right? I don't practice this every day. I've only done this maybe once in my life, five years ago. Wish me luck. You got it. Maybe. Considering I injured my knee a few challenges back, I was going to have to attempt this skill with all of my weight pushing off my left leg. Ah, let's go! That was clean. Okay. Somehow I did that. Caleb was even shocked that I did it so well. Well pumped I did that. And surprised I did that. They both executed the skill about the same, so I'm gonna give it a tie. What? Which okay. means we will have to go into a tiebreaker round. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Ah! You will each have five minutes to prepare and we will be splitting the gym in half for you to practice your tricks. Jack, you get this side and Caleb, you get this side, go! The trick I have in mind for my hardest skill is going to take a lot of warming up because I haven't done anything close to this hard in this entire challenge. So first I'm gonna warm up by making sure I can get enough height. Next, I need to make sure I have my legs fully stretched out because I'm going to need to be as flexible as possible for this final trick. All right, this next skill is gonna take a little bit more warm up than the last other skill, so let's get to it. I could see from the other side of the gym that Caleb was warming up for his biggest trick. I don't know what he's gonna do, but if he actually goes for it and lands it, I'm for sure going to lose. I also have to have perfect balance, so I need to work on my handstand before I go for this trick. For my final skill, I had to think of something that Caleb has never done. So I started to warm up by going on the trampoline, holding a handstand on the parallel bars, and a couple other stretches just to make sure I'm good to go. I only have 45 seconds left, and this last trick I'm gonna do takes a lot of core strength, so I need to make sure my core is nice and warmed up. I've used a lot of energy this challenge. I hope this goes well. All right, time's up! Woo! All right, let's do this. Who's gonna go first? Nose goes. Oh, bro, are you serious? Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go first. Yep. 
Let's do this. You got it. Going first is always a disadvantage because you don't get to see what your competitor is doing first. So I have to go for my hardest trick. I'm gonna be doing my final tumbling pass on the trampoline. It's gonna be one of the craziest combinations in the world and definitely by far the hardest thing I've ever done. It needs to be crazy because I'm a tumbling on the floor. You gotta top that. Oh my gosh. All right, that's it. It was time to go for the final skill. For level 10, I decided to do a really long tumbling combo on the trampoline. Hopefully this impresses a faff and gets me the win. But I guess that's my combo. That's not how I was trying to end. I got the idea. I was trying to do a claw that end. Old oh, man's out of breath from a combo. I feel like I've seen before. I'm next. Four years ago, he destroyed me in a tumbling competition. And I gave it my all. Now it's all up to luck. I haven't seen him do this one on the spring floor. Now it's all down to Caleb. He was standing in the corner. My heart was beating as I waited anxiously to see what he was going to throw. Oh my gosh, bro! That was literally insane. Yo, stop laughing at my reaction. That was literally hype. You stopped that. I was honestly a little like nervous in the air because you drifted so far. I did, I did go back, but I still landed it. That's all that matters. All right, well, you know what? I did a lot more flips in my combo than you, just saying. Well, I think mine was way more difficult, in my opinion. That's what I think too about mine. And in second place, we have the shark. Come on, y'all, give it up for me. This is one of my first participation medals. And in first, we have Caleb! Dun, 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 dun. Jack, are you ready for your consequence? Oh, I completely forgot about that. You know what's been fun? I'll see you two later. No, Where you go back! Yo, Jack, what? Bro, what? Is this my consequence? Congrats on second place. Bro, oh my gosh, it's in my eye. Y'all better subscribe if you want to see a rematch. <laughs>